Hey developers, let's talk about trends in the JavaScript world. What frameworks are hot, which ones are not. Take a look. Hey, if this is the first time checking out this channel, please click that subscribe button, that really helps. Hey, and one more thing, there's a, quite a few amazing courses on udemy.com. I have a few recommended below. So if you can click on them, you can get some great discounts if you click on the link below using my code, and that will really help me out. Now let's go. So let's talk about trends in the JavaScript world. So before we begin, let me just let you guys know that following trends in the JavaScript world can be dangerous, especially if you're a new programmer. You don't want to jump from one shiny object to another shiny object because you'll never really learn the basics. You'll never really learn anything in depth. You'll be kind of a you'll kind of know a lot of different topics, but you won't be an expert in any. And that's not what you want to be when you're starting off. You really want to learn one topic, one language, one framework, one library really, really well. Um, so that way you become valuable to employers because employers definitely want people that know technology inside and out and they want people to know it fairly well. But it's still interesting and I think it's still well worth learning about these other trends that are happening in the industry, learning about the other languages and frameworks and libraries that are out there, and keeping an eye out on which one's more popular than the others. So let's take a look at what's out there. So I'm gonna bring you um, to my browser here. So you can see from here, this is the Google Trends, and I just put in kind of the four major libraries and frameworks that we keep hearing about a lot. So we got AngularJS, ReactJS, EmberJS, and Vue.js. Now you can play around with this a little bit and you can use search terms like Angular instead of AngularJS or React instead of ReactJS. But I think this gives us kind of an overall idea of how of what to, uh, to expect here. Um, these are kind of uh, some of the most f uh, popular frameworks and libraries out there. So if we look here, you could see the trends kind of going one thing I noticed, which I find quite interesting, is that if you look at the end of the graph here, Vue.js is definitely becoming really popular lately. I've definitely heard a lot more, um, which is good for me if I am working on a React, uh, actually, excuse me, a Vue.js project. I am not ready to announce it, but uh, you will be hearing more about it soon, definitely more on this channel. If you're interested in, in learning more about what I'm doing, uh, in the description of each one of my videos, I have a link to my mailing list. Sign up for my mailing list and I'll tell you all about some cool new stuff I'm working on. But you can see here, as you expect, React is pretty much one of the more popular ones. So is Angular. And then Ember, it's sticking in there. Um, I know lately the Ember ecosystem has kind of gotten a little bit of a, of a boost because they released a new component library called Glimmer. And that's starting to get a little bit more traction and more developers are learning about it. If you're interested in, in Glimmer, I created a video on it. Um, so just I'll leave it in the description below. So this is kind of the trend that we're seeing just in the, the front end library and framework world. Uh, if we look at another uh, good graph is the Indeed trending for job trends to kind of get an idea of, of these words are being added into job listings and postings that we can find on indeed.com, which is a job posting website. You kind of see from here that there was a big spike in like late 2014 that was pretty much Ember and Angular were just really close to each other. But nowadays, it's really um, in between Angular and React, and Ember's still sticking in there. There's definitely jobs out there for them. Vue um, is getting a little bump there, the, the blue line at the bottom. So it sounds like even though Vue is getting a ton of searches and a lot of people are interested, there's just not a whole lot of jobs for Vue.js right now, um, at least according to Indeed.com. And, and of course, if you search for Vue and Indeed, I'm sure you, the jobs will show up. It's just not quite as popular right now. And if we look at Stack Overflow, we can kind of kind of get an idea of what's happening in the industry. There's a developer hiring trends in 2017. And this tells us that React, Docker, Ansible, Apache Spark are definitely the trends that are really popular right now. I'm looking mostly at just JavaScript trends. So React, that's kind of interesting that that's becoming really popular. Um, we kind of knew that, um, as we can see from the other graphs. 
What also is not super surprising is that jQuery, LAMP, Backbone, and even a little bit of Ember is kind of losing some steam. And we kind of felt that in this year from 2015 to 2016 to 2017. That's kind of one of the reasons why they're coming out with Glimmer.js, like I mentioned before. You could see that there's also some low supply, high demand, not too much in the JavaScript side. Uh, PHP, of course, um, kind of the back end web stuff. Uh, there's not a whole lot. Uh, I guess there is some front end web on this list here. So it gives us some good idea that there's always high demand for these jobs. And that is good to know. So once again, you take all this with a grain of salt because you really want to focus on one technology, one framework, one library when you're first starting out after you learn the basics, of course, of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But once you get a little farther along, I think it's always a good idea to keep in touch with these technologies and just to see what's out there and to keep learning and keep growing. Thank you for watching my video on JavaScript trends here in 2017. If you like this video, definitely click that subscribe button down below and click that like button. That really helps me. And if you're interested in learning more about web development, I have linked to some great Udemy courses in the description below. Click those, take them. They're awesome. They are affiliate links, so they actually do help me out. I would appreciate it if you checked it out. Thanks. Take care.